On November 1, 2024, the Iran military Twitter account released a video showing a modified Cornet anti-tank missile launcher used by Hezbollah. This new version features a triple launch configuration, a significant departure from the traditional dual launch design. The modification appears to be specifically aimed at bypassing the active protection systems of enemy armored vehicles, a key feature of modern battlefield defenses. This adaptation is unique to Hezbollah, as no similar modification has been seen in standard Russian military equipment. The Cornet system, originally designed by Russia, is a widely used anti-tank guided missile capable of defeating advanced armor. Its tandem charge warhead allows it to penetrate layers of armor, including explosive reactive armor, which is commonly used to protect modern military vehicles. The system can be fired from both tripods and vehicle mounts, offering flexibility in deployment. With a range of 5 to 8 kilometers, the Cornet is highly effective against heavily armored targets, delivering substantial firepower through its laser-guided missiles. However, modern armored vehicles, like the Israeli Merkava tanks, are protected by advanced active protection systems, such as Raphael's Trophy and Elbit's Iron Fist. These systems are designed to detect and intercept incoming projectiles, including anti-tank missiles, by using radar and infrared sensors. The goal is to neutralize threats before they can impact the vehicle's main armor. While effective, these systems are not foolproof. In response to these advanced defenses, Hezbollah's new triple launch configuration is intended to overwhelm APS systems. By launching multiple missiles in rapid succession, Hezbollah aims to saturate the defensive systems, increasing the chances that at least one missile will make it through and strike its target. This tactic is an attempt to counter Israel's sophisticated defense technologies, which have made anti-tank weapons like the Cornet less effective. This modification to the Cornet launcher illustrates the ongoing evolution of asymmetric warfare, where non-state actors continuously adapt their tactics to counter the technological superiority of conventional military forces. In the past, similar anti-tank weapons, like the Soviet-made Sagar missile, were used against Israeli armor during the Yom Kippur War. Now, Hezbollah is pushing the limits of anti-tank warfare by adopting new strategies and modifying existing technologies to meet the challenges posed by modern defense systems. Hezbollah's modified Cornet launcher has been a source of concern for the Israeli military, who has responded with countermeasures like armed drones to target and destroy Cornet launch sites before they can be used. While Hezbollah claims to have destroyed several Israeli armored vehicles, including 42 Merkava tanks, these figures have not been independently verified, and Israel has not officially confirmed any losses. As the conflict continues, this development highlights the increasing complexity of modern warfare. The modification of the Cornet missile system not only enhances Hezbollah's anti-tank capabilities, but also represents a growing arms race between non-state actors and conventional military powers, each striving to stay ahead with new technologies and tactics. The outcome of this battle will shape the future of warfare in the region and beyond. Thank you.